Hi everybody, I'm Chase Raz, and you're watching The Zillica Observer. Look, today we are right here on the beautiful, brand new Zillswap 2.0. I've already talked about it in a previous video, but we're here not for the aesthetic upgrade that they did, which is beautiful. We're here not just for the performance benefits that Zillswap 2.0 comes with, which are amazing, but we're here today because of what Zillica has been calling the ETH bridge. You've been hearing about it for months, and I'm here to tell you, we're getting close. We're getting really close, as far as I know. <laughs> I have a little bit of information, not a lot. I'm asking for some more updates, but I do know it's coming. I do know it's coming. And I can say that. So look, today I want to go over not just what the ETH bridge is going to be. I've already done that in a previous video about a month ago. I want to talk about a very specific issue that's going to benefit all of us. I don't care whether you're accumulating, whether you're hodling, whether you're day trading, whether you're liquidity provisioning, whoever you are in the Zillica ecosystem, the topic I'm going to cover today is super important for all of us. So let me just get straight to it and let's jump in. Today, we want to talk about TVL, total value locked. We're of course going to talk about its relation to liquidity for a specific token, but TVL is the name of the game. So let me give you a little bit of a backstory here. Zillswap is, I don't want to say the only DEX on Zillica because that would be factually incorrect through some technicalities and through some other projects. But Switchio, who makes Zillswap, has a partnership with working, uh, for, you know, working with Zillica and Zillswap is the main DEX for Zillica, without question, right? So Zillswap is building their own custom interface to this bridge that's coming. We're calling it the ETH bridge that connects us to Ethereum, but it's so much more than that. It really is. Let's call it what it really is. This is the Poly Network bridge built by Poly Network. And the Poly Network bridge currently connects Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and others, and guess who's next? That's right, we are, right here in Zillica. So Zillica is gonna be connected to Ethereum, Bitcoin, and others, like I was just mentioning. So I'm gonna switch over from Zillswap for just a moment to Zillstream, which as we know was, was created by Melvin Beamer. Thank you, Melvin, for creating this awesome tool. And what it does is it gives us information about Zillswap and about some of the specific ZRC2s within the Zillica ecosystem. ZRC2s, of course, are just our native tokens here on Zillica. If we scroll to the top, we can see very clearly that at the time of recording, the total value locked on ZillSwap, even though we're pulling this from Zillstream's website, this is about ZillSwap, the total value locked is just north of $83 million. And I know that's US dollars. I know, I know, I can hear it now. I'm thinking it in the back of my mind, but it used to be so much higher. I know, I know. Well, first of all, let's take a look at Zillica's price for a moment. We're trading, you know, just shy of 11 cent right now, again, at the time of recording. This is more than 50% off of our ATH, our all time high. That was just set, what, about a month or six weeks ago, something like that. So the, the entire crypto market, as we all know, I'm preaching to the choir here, I'm sure, is down. Many tokens down 50% or more. Um, just ask how they're doing over in Ethereum DeFi. So yes, if we were to just be conservative and say, uh, conservative and say you know what, let's just double the, pr let's just assume that we go back into a bull market. Give me some wood to knock on somewhere. Let's assume we go back into a bull market uh, some people are arguing we're still there. We're just in a correction. But let's say we really start, you know, shooting just, just straight to the moon. If we head back towards all time high, then you, you more than double this number. We're over 170 million. If you more than double it, we're over 170 million USD at that point. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I know that Amrit shared a while back some some graphics and statistics that show that Zill, uh, Zillswap is one of the leading DeFi projects. That's good. So again, back to TVL for a moment, this total value locked. When we come in and we trade tokens, let's say I'm going to trade some Zillica and I want to buy some Zwap or I want to buy some XSGD, right? And we, we want to conduct this trade. 
the the total value locked comes from the aggregate of the liquidity in all of the pools. So what does that mean? Each one of these tokens, in order to trade it on ZillSwap right here, in order to do this, in order to, to choose, let's go for some GZIL here, in order to choose that particular pair to switch back and forth, there has to be what's called a pool. Now, I've done some videos on this, I, I think about three or four videos on how all of that works, how to get into it, those types of things. But that pool is what enables those of us who are trading to be able to trade the token back and forth. To say, I'm going to go from Zill to GZIL, or to go in the inverse direction, from GZIL to Zill. Or we can even put Zill as an intermediary and say, I want to go from GZIL to Zwap, right? We can do that. I'm not, I'm not actually going to queue that one up, but we can do that, and it will just use Zill as the intermediary. So all of that to say, these things require a pool of funds, a pool of two match tokens each, Zill and something else in order to facilitate trades. So now that we know the TVL is the aggregate of all of that liquidity, the liquidity comes into play because it determines how smooth the trade is. Now, what do I mean by smooth? I'm using non-technical terms here. But when we go to trade a token for another token, the exchange rate fluctuates based on whether we're putting one token in or taking that token out. Because of that, as you trade a significant amount of tokens or as there's some type of market run on a particular token, you and I both know what happens. If there's a market run to buy a particular token, so we want to sell our Zill to buy a token, that price is going to go up, 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 up really fast because, you know, this Zill swap is a DEX. It uses a particular formula, a particular equation behind the scenes in order to calculate the price. And I've talked about those in other videos as well. I'll spare you the math right now. If the market is making a run away from something, they want to sell, they want to unload something and reclaim Zill, the price of that other token is going to go down, 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 down. Now, and that's fine. That's normal market behavior. But the more that is locked in liquidity and to any particular pool, the more stable the price is. When there's a market need for the price to adjust, it needs to be able to do that. But other than that, daily fluctuations in price are not necessarily beneficial. There are ways to capitalize on them. There are some benefits to them, but overall, we want a really healthy, well-funded liquidity pool. So let's talk for just a moment about how the bridge helps us get there. When the bridge is open, we're going to be able to trade assets like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like stable coins, or I should say Ether and stable coins right here on ZillSwap. Think about how much that changes your strategy alone. Instead of having to go through 10 different DEXs and go through a centralized exchange and back and forth and back and forth, imagine being able to move directly from ETH to Zill right here in one place, in the same place you trade to go from XCAD to SCO and vice versa. That type of ability attracts more funds because there's more we can do on our one platform. If I'm able to move to not just XSGD, but other stable coins as well, and diversify my stable coins in one location, when there's a market dip or retraction, there's not as much pressure for funds to leave the Zilliqa ecosystem in search of US dollar or European stablecoins. If we have them right here, in addition to the Singapore stablecoin, the, the entire ecosystem functions that much better. So what happens is this becomes a snowball, if you will. It becomes a tumbleweed, if you will. And what happens is with more potential, with more trade opportunities, there's more opportunity for the people who are providing the liquidity behind the scenes to earn a fee off of each transaction. That's currently 0.3% of all transactions, and that fee is split across the entire pool. And so if you are a liquidity provisioner, if you're a liquidity provider, this is a wonderful thing because what we're expecting is that the volume of transactions is going to increase. That's going to be really great for your earnings, especially in some of the pools. You know, you, you and I, we would have talked about this, that in liquidity provisioning, that's not always a cash positive situation. I don't just mean on ZillSwap. I, I don't just mean in crypto. I mean, in general, providing funds to a liquidity pool is not always a positive ROI event. But the more transactions there are, 
that 0.3% really does add up over time. So this is really good and really healthy. Additionally, for liquidity providers, we have to think about some of the benefits that these other tokens may be eligible for. Let's say there gets to be a really healthy Ether pool with Zill and ETH paired against one another. That particular pool could be voted upon in the lightning rounds to be eligible for swap yielding, right? To be able to yield swap, to get that swap return. That is going to really incentivize certain uh, in particular token pairs that are heavily traded. Not only do we get the increased transaction volume for higher fees, but also swap eligibility. That's just amazing. But I can hear it now. All right. Only a limited number of the total number of people within an ecosystem provide liquidity. I get it. What's in it for everyone? What do we all benefit? Well, here's the key. If the liquidity providers are being benefited, and the amount of liquidity in each token pair or the heavily traded token pairs goes up. What this does is it reduces the slippage. Now, slippage is the effect we all know. Let's say you want to get into a token and you start buying and you realize you're spiking the price single handedly. And maybe you're not even buying that many of the token. That's a problem. We want to add more stability to these tokens in terms of price. And the way to do that is increase the liquidity pool volume that reduces this idea of slippage. If a market moves to buy a particular asset, the price goes up. If the market moves to to sell a particular asset, the price goes down and that's all normal and healthy. But what we want to avoid are these daily or weekly or sh other short term volatility streaks where regular motions in the market are impacting the price when they otherwise shouldn't, when they otherwise could probably be offset or very minimal in comparison. Again, the bottom line is the more money locked into, into liquidity, right? This value we see right over here in this column, right? The more money that's locked in this liquidity, the lower the slippage. Again, you've seen it when you've gone to buy a new token in an IDO, an initial DEX offering, and the price just whew, skyrockets because there's not a lot of liquidity and all of the demand is by demand. You've seen it in situations where maybe bad news comes out about a particular project and, and there's a dump effect going on and all of a sudden the, the price dumps even beyond where it likely should given the strength of the news. We've, we've seen all of these scenarios play out with ZRC2s and then some over the past month and change. And again, I cannot stress enough just how awesome this is going to be for those of us in the Zillica ecosystem because of the increase in the liquidity pools, the liquidity locked, and therefore in the TVL or total value locked for ZillSwap in aggregate. Now, last thing I'm going to say, because this video does have partial consideration from Zillica. So some of you might want to say, you know what? I'm being a little biased. I might be a hype man in this case, but I'd respond with saying this. ZillSwap is what, six or seven months old, something like that, and has a competitive amount of TVL relative to other exchanges. It's competing with some very well-known Ethereum exchanges in terms of TVL. Has been at ATH, still is, even with most cryptocurrencies significantly off of ATH. The DEX isn't even a year old. That's impressive. The growth has been impressive. To go from absolutely nothing to this in such a short period of time is phenomenal. And even if I could be accused of a little bit of optimism, which I am optimistic, I do want to put that out there, I, I can't say it enough again. If we were to account, and let's jump over to the pools overview, because here's a place we can see a lot of this aggregate information without having to go to an external site. If we were to take a look at the TVL, again, now we're floating just shy, sorry for hitting the microphone again, seems to be a trend in my current videos. Uh, we seem to be going a little bit down, but that's because I believe Zill price is slightly declining while I'm recording. We're just under 83 million at this point. If we were to account for all time high, like I mentioned, that alone would take us up into the 160, 170 million dollar range. And that I don't think we should forget because that's a very pertinent detail of understanding just how much core token price, the native token price of Zillica in this case, does influence this value. By strengthening the ecosystem, by bringing more tokens over, by having more money and liquidity, 
et cetera, all the things I've described in this video, this particular number will help stabilize the ecosystem, make our trades much smoother is the non-technical term I used before, but also give us plenty of earning opportunities as liquidity providers to get swap, to, to yield swap, and also to earn transaction fees. I really see this as a win, win, win all the way around for us, for those not on our ecosystem, and for those building our ecosystem, such as Zillica and Switchio here with Zillswamp. All right, everybody, I hope you're as excited for the bridge as I am. I, I really just cannot wait over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, somewhere in that time frame before it's released or previewed or something more formal is coming. And I am super excited. I can't wait to share this with you. Until next time, everybody, take care.